Warning, the following video has not been approved by the Comic Code Authority, and is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Comic Assassin. Uh, a little special episode today, because I'm doing an unboxing. And not just one, but two. Right, so what I have today is I have the BAM Box. November OG pop culture number 11 whatever they're calling it these days I got one of those and I also have a comic unboxing from the comic jabroni his first mystery box I got that one first I don't I don't see how I haven't opened it up already but I knew that I was getting the band box within a day and I said you know what let me wait let me pump the brakes on it and let's just unbox them both at the same time so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, here's the band box. Uh, so the franchises for the band box was Animaniacs, Karate Kid, and the the new Star Wars movie. So the Rise of Skywalker. Um, franchises that I like, I honestly probably would have skipped this box, but I just forgot to do it in time. But they also said that there was a special signed item, and it was going to be a signed toy. So I got stoked about that. So let's see what we got here. Alright, so like always, you got your black paper. Alright, let me see if I can feel the, the pin. They always have a pin. Alright, so the pin was Animaniacs. Right? When I, when I grew up watching Animaniacs, you know, this is, uh, is this Yakko? Right? It was Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, right? Um, like I said, I'm not a huge pin guy, but hey, it's a, it's a decent pin. Alright, I don't know. All right, not sure what this is. Let me open this up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, this is pretty sweet, man. This is sweet. Now, let me put it the right way. And I don't know if this is even going to come out on the film, but here you go. So this is the Karate Kid, right? Cobra Kai right here now. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy, baby. Now this is cool. This is the first like flag banner um, type thing that they've done that I know of. And that's pretty cool, man. I mean, I grew up watching Karate Kid. I mean, I grew up doing martial arts. Um, I mean, I'm still involved in martial arts to a degree, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed this item. That was unique. All right. All right, so I feel the toy, but I'll, I'll do the, the print first. Uh, okay. So this is the fan art. This is for uh, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, you know, to me, I could take it or leave it. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but it's just really not my cup of tea, to be honest with you. But, yeah. That's the fan art. Alright, now here is a toy, I'm assuming... Alright, so, okay, so here's the toy, it's signed, it's signed right there, and so this is a toy T-Rex that has been signed by Aaron LaPlante, who voices Spear, and uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this person's name, Jindy, something, 
Primal, okay, so okay, so I know what this is. Um, Primal is a show that came out on Adult Swim, uh, and it was it was actually pretty good. But I'll be honest with you, this is kind of disappointing. I mean, this is one of those toys that you're gonna find at the dollar store or for like five, ten bucks if you go to a museum or, or a zoo. So yeah, calling this a toy is a stretch to me. Um, plus. It's a voice actor, um, which I wish Bam would get away from doing that kind of thing. Um, and plus, if you know, if thinking about it, I don't even think this guy even talks. I mean, does Dinosaur even talk in Primal? Um, I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I've only seen, I think I've only seen like one episode and uh, a few things on YouTube, but I don't think I've even seen the whole series. So I don't even think this guy even talks. He just makes sounds. So, yeah, I mean, to me, this is a bust. Um, I mean, it's still cool. I mean, I liked what I saw from Primal, but you know, I, I love Adult Swim. So I appreciate them, you know, thinking outside the box. But, yeah. Um, but for me, for me, this this was awesome. This banner. That that was awesome. So let's look at the spoiler sheet. Let's see what we got here. Uh, so of course you had the dinosaur print. You could have gotten all the Animaniacs, Yakko Wacko, or Dot, depending on how lucky you were. Uh, the movie prop. Yeah, three by five Cobra Kai banner. That's cool. Um, oh, did you, so with the fan art, once again, like I said, I wasn't pleased with it, but bam, come on now, don't, don't just do a color switch with the variant, I, oh, the only thing that's different is, like the, the character's costume and the lightsaber, everything else is the exact same, and I wish they would get away with that, but, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it wasn't a bad box. Um, it definitely wasn't the most exciting box. Um, I definitely like the banner, the Cobra Kai. That's super awesome. Uh, but we're going to jump into a comic jabroni box now. So, before I even open this up, I was excited to get involved with this box because, first off, the reason why he's doing it is because he is on a mission to get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. So hey, I always love helping out a homie and getting what he wants. So that was a plus. Plus the grand prize was a Hulk 180 slabbed. And who does not want that in, a, in another collection, right? Um, now I've already kind of got it out of the packaging somewhat. I haven't opened it up fully. I mean, it's heavy, so I don't know. And I've been trying to stay away from everybody else's unboxing because, you know, I mean, I like my mystery boxes to actually be a mystery, right? Um, but they were $50 a piece plus like 15 shipping, so $65. Um, you know, but once again, just being able to help out a member of the community, that was the, re the real reason why I did it. So even if I get $10 worth of comics, you know, I, I might feel burned, but I'm so glad I get to help out a member of the community. So, all right, so let's move, get this stuff out. Um, I will say, it shipped very promptly. Um, all right, so it's, it's packaged well. Let me get my knife out. We got some cardboard here. Let me take it out. I try to do some of this, you know, beforehand, you know, without spoiling it for myself and spoiling it for you guys. But yeah, it's very well packaged, and like I said, it came in like two or three days, so I was really happy with that. Alright. So we got it here. It was bubble wrapped very nicely. And I can go ahead and tell you, spoiler alert, I did not get the grand prize because there's no slabs here. There's nothing but books. 
Uh, so let's just jump into it. What do we get? All right, so Justice League, America 15. Like I said, I don't read a lot of Justice League, so that's cool. Justice League 14. Uh, they both say they're variants, so I'm assuming these are like cover B's or cover C's or something. Justice League 16. Okay, so, and this is what I also did like too. Um, he was very upfront about how he was going to do this thing. Um, you know, he showed off some of the books that he was going to put in there, including the grand prize. Uh, also, the way that he did it with his kids and his wife, mixed up the boxes, I think that was very cool. Uh, but he also said that if he was going to do runs, and so here we go, we have 14, 15, and 16 of Justice League of America. Maybe there's more. All right, here's Ju uh, Jupiter's Legacy. Number two, so the second volume of this, this is Mark Miller's work. That's number two. Number three. All right, so he's doing, it looks like he's doing a run, so I'm assuming maybe number one. Awesome, awesome. So, yeah, so he did the run of Jupiter's Legacy. Um... Which, you know, it's the one that I wouldn't actually go for, but I do like that he put in the blank variant. Because that's one that, you know, you can always bring to a con, get it signed, get a sketch, you know, if the opportunity arises. So that's cool. I'll check that out. I've never, I've never read the, the first volume of Jupiter's Legacy. And then this. All right, JLA 15. All right, we got some Joker, some Lex action going on. All right. Like I said, I'm not a huge JLA fan, but... And then... Justice League America 14. All right. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of Justice League. Um, and let me see the other ones. So this is... All right, so this is 2007. We have 98, and I'm assuming this is the newer one. So I'm assuming these are three different volumes of Justice League. I mean, I do kind of like that. It's kind of that reminds me of like Clockwork Orange, right? All of them sitting there, binded, with their eyes wide open, crying. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, like I said, it's not necessarily my cup of tea, but you know, I'll give it a read. Alright, so this one, this one I'm actually excited about. Uh, this is one that I don't have, but have been wanting to get, and that's, this is Anthony Bourdain's Hungry Ghosts number one. Right, my wife is a huge Anthony Bourdain fan. This is what's going to be underneath the Christmas tree for her, assuming she doesn't watch this video, which she doesn't, but... If she does, spoiler alert, wife, you're getting this underneath your Christmas tree. So, yeah, that's cool. This is one that I've actually been wanting to get for a while. This book heated up. It's cooled down quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, all right. We've got some... Uh, sorry, they're all facing me now. The, the way he, he did it, he was like, like that. So, now I can see what I'm picking up before I can pick it up. Iron Man... Uh, 175. Uh, looks like he's doing a little, a little bit of a run here, so 176. And then we have 177. So here we got some, you know, some older school Iron Man. Um, you know, I actually have both these. I don't have this one yet. Um, you know, they're a little dinged up, but hey, if they're they're, I've seen worse. I mean, they've got some ink on that one, but. You know, I mean, these are these are filler books, so yeah. But yeah, Iron Man. You know, I'm a Marvel guy, so I'm always like, you know, to put stuff in to fill my run in. All right, so we have Wolverine Weapon X number one, and I actually know which one this is. This is actually the Cupert uh, variant. 
right there. So once again, a cool book. Uh, then we got Wolverine versus Blade, number one. And oh, this is the second printing, right? Yeah, second printing. Got that. And then I got Wolverine, number 88. One, I love this cover right here. I actually already own two copies of this. Um, but um, looking at it, it looks like it's probably in better condition than the ones I get. The ones I have, I got from the dollar bins. But this one's definitely in better conditions unless, you know, until I open it up. But yeah, I always love that cover. It's one I won't pass on. And that's it. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, it was a good box. Um, honestly, from my collecting standpoint of view, it's it's these two books and these two books alone that make it for me. Um, I know this book, this is a, you know, in this condition, it's easily a $5 book up to a $10 book in a good day. This one, slow down, this one's about probably a $15 book. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the JLA stuff, I could have done without. A lot of this stuff is kind of filler stuff. I mean, I, I've actually wanted to read this one, but I passed on it. And once again, the Iron Man stuff I kind of own. So, yeah, from a collector standpoint point of view, um, the value wasn't there, like, you know, completely. Uh, but I did get some good books. I got to help out a homie in the community. Um, he's going to be doing a second round of these, I believe. Uh, and I think he said he's going to have Avengers number four in there, like Slab 2.5. And I still recommend it. Uh, as far as the band box go, you know, and that's the thing about mystery boxes. You can't all be winners. You can't all be losers, right? You're going to get stuff you like. You're going to get stuff you don't like. And that's just the nature of the game. Um, in both cases, I got stuff I liked. I got stuff I didn't like, right? And that's how it goes. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm pleased with this one all day long. This all day long. Um, I'm pleased with this all day long. So, you know, and if you get some stuff that you don't like, hey, that's, that's the risk you got to take. Um, I will say, especially for, for Comic Jabroni's box, just be, being able to know you've got a 1 in 20 shot of getting a Hulk 180, to me, it was worth it. And helping out a homie was so worth it. Um, so, yeah, no, no major complaints. I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, I would do it again. So, with that being said, y'all, this is the Comic Assassin. Let me know what you guys think about the stuff I picked up. And uh, with that being said, y'all, it's the weekend. Come Monday, I got another video for you guys talking about what's up in the news, what books are coming out, etc. And just thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, with that being said, y'all, peace out. I'll see y'all next time.